In today's episode of the Parsec Tutorials, we will show you how you can get started using Parsec for the first time. The first step in using Parsec consists in visiting ParsecGaming.com and downloading the Parsec app. These are the operating systems supported by Parsec for hosting a Parsec gaming session. While these are those supported for joining a Parsec gaming session. Once you download Parsec, you'll be prompted to the installation process, which will just take a few clicks. You can either sign up for Parsec after installing the software or by selecting Start Playing on ParsecGaming.com. When accessing Parsec for the first time, make sure to enable hosting in order to be able to host gaming sessions on the software. In today's video, we will be going through two great features you can find on Parsec. Coplay and Party Finder. Coplay allows you to play local co op games such as Cuphead, A Hat in Time, and Wizard of Legend online with friends. In order to co play, you will have to enable hosting on the Parsec app and have at least one friend to play with. There are different ways to start a gaming session with your friends using Coplay. You can either have your friend click on play next to your name on the app or invite them to play through link sharing. The sidebar on the left is where you can manage the computer you are playing on and people that are trying to connect or have already joined your session. Now that you have learned the basics, here are a few cool facts about Parsec you should know. A 15 megabit per second upload speed will allow you to experience Parsec at 1080p and 60 frames per second. You can pick which permissions and inputs are granted when your friends join your co-play sessions on Parsec, with controller being the default one. Your computer settings are found by clicking the gear link in the upper right corner of the Parsec application and allows you to determine the quality of the Parsec stream. The host can restart controllers by clicking on Parsec in the system tray and selecting Reset Controllers. When friends connect to your computer, you can use the Approved Apps feature to determine what they control and see on the screen. The second feature we are taking a look at today is Party Finder, which provides players online matchmaking for any multiplayer game, creating new gameplay experiences that were simply not possible before. With this feature, you are now able to play local multiplayer games such as Overcooked, Towerfall and enter the Gungeon online with players from all around the world. In order to get started, click on Party Finder on the Parsec app. Once you land on the page, you'll see several games, communities, and parties. You can create a party for one of the featured games or any other game you would like to play. After selecting Create a Party, you will be given several options to play with, such as the name of the party, description, the amount of players, and much more. You can even choose between a private and public party. With approved apps, you can decide what applications on your computer people can see and control. While this isn't intended to be a security feature, it can make it much easier to deal with players connecting to your computers. After creating your party, you can either invite people through the link feature or simply wait for other players to join your session. Information about your current party and players connected to your computers will show on the host tab sidebar on the left. Last but not least, you can enable two-factor authentication on your Parsec account page as an extra layer of security. Please note at this time, 2FA will not work on the Raspberry Pi. If following the instructions in this video did not answer your questions when it comes to getting started with Parsec, Coplay, and Party Finder, make sure to join our Discord server listed in the description where you will meet other Parsec community members that will be able to help.